The Kanamaluka Tema, like many estuaries around the world, has tidal mudflats that support its unique and diverse ecosystem. Let's take a look at how the mudflats ended up near Launceston. Mudflats play an important role in the health of the estuary. They are formed naturally from sediment that comes downstream with the rivers or upstream with the tide. It settles near Launceston where the channel is wider and more shallow and where the freshwater and saltwater meet. When European explorers arrived here in 1804, they found an estuary with mudflats that resemble what we see today. While mudflats have always been a natural feature of the estuary, people have also had an impact. In Launceston's past, dredging enabled larger ships to come further upstream by creating a deeper and wider channel. The sediment from dredging was then used to fill in the wetlands in the North Esk, creating the suburb of Invermay. This activity restricted the incoming tide and caused more sediment to settle in the estuary. Trevallon Dam was built not long before dredging stopped, so it's easy to assume that the dam caused sediment to increase. But really, the end of dredging meant the mudflats returned to a more natural state. Since the dam was built, there are fewer small flow events through the gorge, but small flows have never played much of a role in moving sediment. It's the occasional medium and large flow events that move sediment out of the estuary. The estuary also gets some water that would normally go to Hobart. It flows from Great Lake, through Poatina Power Station, and into the South Esk. This extra water helps reduce sediment in the estuary. Sedimentation in the Kanamaluka Tamar estuary is affected by the changes we have made to the estuary, so it's important that we understand the impacts of what we do next. To have a healthy balance of sediment, we can all play our part in taking care of the Kanamaluka Tamar estuary and sustain it for future generations.